Hi guys, Coach David McMahon, Maximum Life Academy. Whiteboard is out, so let's get straight to the information. And what we're going to talk about today is say what you mean and mean what you say. Women like men who are very direct. And the more direct you are in your life, the more you're going to have success with a woman. It's as simple as that, okay? So let's look at intention. Intention is your ability to focus and have clarity on exactly what you want. So when I'm on the call with guys who are being coached by me, I'll talk about where their life is, how shitty it is, and then I I get them to tell me what it is that they want from their lives, and 99.9% of them do not know what they want. Okay, they want they know they want a beautiful woman in their lives, or they want to reattract their girlfriend or the wives but they don't know really what they want so this is where intention and clarity comes in so what you've got to look at is your desired outcome when i'm talking to a lot of people whether they be male or female because i coach both what a lot of people will focus on is what you don't want and the more you focus on what you don't want guess what you get you're gonna get it. Like when I was at high school, we used to have this teacher. She didn't used to come in on Friday the 13th. She was very superstitious. She wouldn't walk past you on on the stairs. And she was always getting into accidents, okay? She was one of those people that would constantly get into accidents. So what you focus on is what you get. So if you're focusing on what you don't want, guess what you're gonna get? You're gonna get that, so it's clarity. So what is your desired outcome? If your desired outcome is to be in an intimate relationship with a high standard woman, forget high value, it's high standards. Because the high standard you have as a man is the high standard you're gonna attract for a woman. But a high standard woman is gonna really benefit and really cream your life. She's gonna add benefits to your life and she's gonna complement your life, okay? So that should be your desired outcome. When you're talking to a woman, and you've got to main attraction in your life with your wife and your girlfriend but when you're talking to a woman don't get involved in small talk what you'll find when guys are talking attractive men men who are attractive to women they make statements okay they have a a, a very direct way in, with speaking to a woman he doesn't mess around he lets her know with his eyes and he lets her know with his his body language that he's attracted to her. It's as simple as that. So no small talk. Because when, you, when you're engaging in small talk, your intention's off. So I'm a single guy, okay? So I date women. I'm not in a relationship with a woman, so I date various women. So if I find a woman who's physically appealing to me, I will let her know. I will let her know with my eyes. And my intention is, I find you physically attractive. I want to find out if you and I can jive. We have a connection, you know, you're the kind of woman that I'd want to give my time to, all right? You see the difference? Uh, Let her know you like her. So you must let a woman know you like her. I'm quite direct. I just say, look, I find you attractive. You're very beautiful. Once you say that, then it cuts all the doubt out from a woman. You know, and I've had female friends of mine and, you know, they're attractive women. And then he says, oh, I don't know whether this guy likes me. And I'm, you know, so when guys come to me saying, oh, women, it's, you know, it's easy for women. No, it's not. They have the same doubts and insecurities. That's why guys like me do well with women because we're very direct. We let them know right off the get go. Romance friend. Okay, so I put this down. What you've got to get out of is the friend zone. Yes, you can be a friend of a woman. But the romance side has to come first. You have to engage in the romance side first because if you don't let her know through intention that you're attracted to her, then her attraction for you will drop off. She'll see you as non-dominant, non-direct, and without clear intention and clarity in your life. So you've got to get to that romance stage immediately with a woman you you just get straight to the point and i've done that since i've been 16 years of age okay so you're learning from somebody who's been successful with women for for nearly four decades now i'm 54 years of age so i you know i listen to some of these 25 year old gurus that come up on my feed and i'm thinking what you've got seven years experience in the dating dating game i've got over four decades and i can teach you exactly what it is and this is this is 
coming back and reverse it reverse engineering what i do is going to help you and benefit you pull back and move forward <clears throat> essentially what you've got to do a lot of the times on or some of the times you're going to meet a woman that isn't attracted to you at that present moment in time so what you can do is you can pull back and then you've got to decide by looking at this woman if this woman is actually for you so the pulling back and moving forward is assessing the situation your intention you let her know you're interested you see if it's reciprocated and then if it isn't reciprocated then you pull back now the reason you pull back you could be working with this woman you could be in university with this woman you could come across this woman in the gym you must allow a woman to warm up to you you know she could be having a bad day uh, she could have just finished with a boyfriend there could be various things going on in her life and she's not ready for that romantic switch so you pull back and that's where the friend romance comes in so you can be friendly but not with a romantic interest and then she'll watch you and then she'll re-engage you because you've already let her know that you're attracted to her on a romantic le level so that's what pull back and move forward means but also at the same time you're not putting all your energy on that woman you're not I, I get guys all the time, oh, I've got this woman, I've got this woman. And I say to him or them on the phone with me, I say, right, what is she doing? And if she's, if he's doing four steps forward and she's doing one step back, then he's constantly, he, you would be, because you'd be doing this as well, you're constantly pushing her away. So it's like a dance. So the eye contact, she's looking at you, she'll smile and eye contact. You let her know you're attracted to her. Uh, I have my own way of doing that. I'm very direct. I have clear intention. I don't want to mess around. I don't want to waste my time. But I'll also pull back from a woman uh, for various reasons. And, and a lot of the time, sometimes a woman can be testing you or she's not in the mood romantically. Then you just pull back. She's not your girlfriend. And if it is your wife or your girlfriend, then there's different ways that you can do. You must let that woman just reset herself. You, you, you're not there to change the way she's feeling if she's not ready for it okay does that make sense so that is the intention what we're going to get on to now is style in attraction and saying what you mean meaning what you're saying because women like direct men so what you've got to be is be you there's no point in spending time with a woman and i've done this the first time i ended a relationship with a very attractive woman and i've done this a few times the first time it was empowering and I don't mean this to be sound in sen common and I didn't have a problem t talking to women I knew there was a lot of single available women out there and I just ended the relationship and she ended up you know calling me up and saying you know why have you done this I says well we don't have anything in common there's, there's, there's no point so you've got to be you so if you're talking to somebody for the first time and she's attractive stop putting on her things that she's not earned you've got to find out if you have the same outlook on life if you have the same drive on life if you have a connection if you don't have any of those then you being you is giving her the opportunity to decide if there's a connection with you because where we're at right at this present moment in time is the the life we have that we're living 80 percent is dysfunctional and 20 percent is functional so the 80% of people are just connecting on a pure physical level. So after they get intimate, and a lot of women are building up a high body count, then they don't know how to get the connection, the commitment, and then move forward from there. All right, so what, you've got to get this intimacy out of your head. You have to be you, find out what you like in a woman, and then see if she's going to meet you on that level. That's the difference between me and most guys out there, and most guys like me. We, we don't, we're just us. You either like us or you don't. You've got to express your opinions. In being yourself, you have to express your opinions. So if you're very vocal on something and something is very important to you then when you express that to the woman she's gonna see that connection because you like like attracts like most guys are just focused on a woman's looks trust me guys you've got to get away from that you have to think there's an abundance of women in the world that are single very attractive women and you are bringing something to the table especially when 
you're working on yourself because what I teach guys is prime masculine behavior and I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video there'd be an opportunity to work alongside me what you've got to do is reciprocate what she is giving back to you so if you get over the initial attraction you find there's a connection then you reciprocate with a woman you're communicating and you're being present in that conversation so if you met a woman for the first time or you develop trying to develop the attraction back from your wife and your girlfriend then you have to get to a stage where she's you're reciprocating what she's giving back to you so if she's being rude and she's being obnoxious then you pull back if she's being nice and sweet, then you give her that. You, where guys go wrong, if a woman's being rude, they try and do more to get her back onto a level. That is the wrong thing to do. If she's being rude and she's being bitchy, then you must pull back. Remove your attention, go out for the day if you're married or if, you, if you're living with a woman. But don't reciprocate bad behavior. Don't, don't drop yourself down to their levels. And sometimes what you'll do, the more masculine you become, and the more you enhance prime masculine behavior, which I teach, then a woman can be intimidated by you. And you'll find that a woman can be really rude to you. Like when I was dating this woman when I was 22, well, she was actually my girlfriend, you know, dating and then you become into a relationship. Her, one of her best friends was really rude to me. And then as I was ending the relationship with this woman, I was out one night, A friend, this friend who had been rude to me for a while, uh, basically told me the only reason she was rude to me is because she was very attracted to me so that can happen as well but it's not going to be happening in a relationship with a woman it's going to be happening in the in the in the interim if your masculine behavior is is very high sometimes it can intimidate a woman and she can be rude to you so that can be a, a sign of attraction as well and what essentially what you've got to do is find common ground for instance i like to hunt i'm a carnivore I'm a conservative, all of those things. So there's no way I'm going to jive with a vegetarian woman who's liberal uh, and doesn't like to hunt uh, and you know, all of those kinds of things. It's not going to jive. You've got to find common ground. Most people go into relationships just pu purely on the physical connection. Oh, that they look good and that'll look good with me. And then there's no common ground. And this is why relationships are failing. So we go over intention and style. Let's go on to lead. As a man, you must lead the relationship. Ask for a date. If I'm talking to a woman and I like her, I simply just say, look, we should hang out sometime. And she'll smile and her, her eyes will get big. And I just give her my number, okay? I say, right, give me a call, give me a text, let me know when you're free. And I always go on coffee dates. So you ask for the date. You've got to get to what I said here. You've got to get away from friend and romance. You get straight to the romance to say, look, we should hang out sometime. When you say that and she reciprocates that, you're telling her you're attracted to her. And that's what they want to know. It gets rid of the doubt. It's direct and it's intent. intent. You see how all of these three are coming together? Um, when you go out on your first date, none of this splitting bills. You pay for the date. You organize the date and you lead the date. Never get a woman to never ask her what you want to do on a date. Never get her to pay on a date. It's the man's job to lead that date. So that's key. Enjoy the date. Okay, so you see how we're going through here on a series. You've got to go out and have fun. A woman wants to have fun and so should you. Okay, life is about having fun. There's too much seriousness in the world at this present moment in, in time. And one of the reasons I'm successful with women is women always feel my fun energy. I'm a very relaxed person, I'm very driven, I have a lot of energy, I have a lot of passion in my life, and that vibe, that energy comes across to a woman. Uh, do you want to see her again? So we'll finish on this one. If you want to see a woman again and you've had a really good date with her, just tell her, right? At the end of the day, just say, look, I had a really good time with you tonight, I want to see you again, give me a call. It's simple. I had a really good time with you tonight. I want to see you again. Give me a call. And that's it. And then you progress it from there. Essentially, is the key to success in your life. Have a life that you enjoy. Have a life that fulfills you. 
and then invite a woman into the into your life guys if you're struggling in the attraction arena with what women if your wife's pulling away from you if your girlfriend's pulling away from you or you, you simply can't get out of the friend zone and get into the romantic zone with a woman because a woman needs to see you romantically before she can find you intimately attractive i have to be careful with the words that i use on youtube but i'm sure you can work out what i'm saying if you're struggling below the video is a link to apply for a free 45 minute coaching call with me on that call we're going to find out what you're doing wrong what you need to do right and a plan on how to do it okay i explain what i do on that link but the kind of men that help it explains what i do Please look at that explainer video fully um, because I don't want, I don't like guys who, who waste my time and I'll, I'll know that. And then after that, there is a link and then you can answer a series of questions and then me or one of the members of my team will book that call for you. And before you know it, you will be on the call with me. Any topics you want me to cover, just put them in the topics uh, in the descriptions below. Other than that, we are going to see you on the next video.